Welcome back. We are still on the topic transformation and rigid motion. In the previous videos, we have learned how to reflect a point in the XY plane. In this video, we are going to solve a likely examination question on reflection of a point in the XY plane. The question is A. Using a scale of 2 cm to 2 units on each axis, Draw on a graph sheet two perpendicular axes, OX and OY, for the intervals X is between minus 10 and positive 10, and Y is between minus 12 and positive 12. B. Draw indicating the vertices clearly. I. Rectangle ABCD with vertices A with coordinates 2, 8, B with coordinates 2, 4, C with coordinates 8, 4, and D with coordinates 8, 8. I, I. The image A1, B1, C1, D1 of A, B, C, D under a reflection in the y axis, where A maps to A1, B maps to B1, C maps to C1, and D maps to D1. I, I, I. The image A2, B2, C2, D2 of A1, B1, C1, D1 under a reflection in the line y is equal to 1, where A1 maps to A2, B1 maps to B2, C1 maps to C2, and D1 maps to D2. IV The image A3, B3, C3, D3 of A, B, C, D under a reflection in the x axis, where A maps to A3, B maps to B3, C maps to C3 and D maps to D3. So this is the question for us to solve. And you can see clearly that this question involves the use of a graph sheet. In fact, in an examination, most of the questions under transformation and rigid motion requires the use of a graph sheet. This means that you have to be conversant with the use of a graph sheet before you can solve these questions. In the videos on quadratic functions and graph of quadratic functions, I made three separate videos where I explained how to use a graph sheet. So if you want to find those videos, go to the playlist on quadratic functions and graph of quadratic functions. They are the video number 15, 16, and 17. I will leave the link to those videos in the description of this video. So if you want to check them out, you can easily click on it and go and check those videos. They are the video number 15, 16, and 17 in the playlist on quadratic functions and graph of quadratic functions. Okay, let's move on with the solution of this question. In this video, you will solve the first two parts of this question. So we will look at the A part, then we will look at the first part of B. So you solve A and B, I in this video. Let's begin with A. So A says that using a scale of 2 cm to 2 units on each axis, draw on a graph sheet two perpendicular axes, OX and OY, for the interval X is between minus 10 and positive 10, and Y is between minus 12 and positive 12. So let's go to our graph sheet. We have our graph sheet here. The scale we are using is 2 cm to 2 units on both axes. So it means that on the x axis we are using a scale of 2 cm to 2 units and on the y axis we are using a scale of 2 cm to 2 units. The question says that the numbering on the x axis should start from minus 10 and it should end at positive 10. So on the x axis we are going to start from minus 10 and end at positive 10. This means that we have to draw our y-axis through this vertical major grid line because when we draw the y-axis through this vertical major grid line, we will have five major grid lines on the left and five major grid lines on the right. We are using a scale of 2 cm to 2 units. So if we have five major grid lines on the left and five major grid lines on the right, we can number from minus 10 to positive 10. On the y-axis, the question says that the numbering should start from minus 12 to positive 12. So, we will draw the x-axis through this major grid line. Because when we draw the x-axis through this major grid line, we will have 6 major grid lines at the top and 6 major grid lines at the bottom. 
we are using a scale of 2 cm to 2 units. So if we have 6 major grid lines at the top and 6 major grid lines at the bottom, we can number from minus 12 to positive 12. So we have our x and y axis here. They meet at this point, so that is going to be the center. The number there will be 0. We can now number our x and y axis. The x axis starts from minus 10 to positive 10. We are using a scale of 2 cm to 2 units. So it means that from one major grade line to the next, we are going to increase the numbering by 2. So we have minus 10, minus 8, minus 6, minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We do the same thing for the y axis. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus 8, minus 10, and minus 12. I explained how to do all these in those three videos that I referred to earlier. I'll leave the link to those videos in the description of this video so you can easily check it out. So we are now done with the first part of our question. Let's move on to the second part. The second part says that we should draw a rectangle ABCD with vertices A that has the coordinates 2, 8, B that has the coordinates 2, 4, C that has the coordinates 8, 4, and D that has the coordinates 8, 8. These four points are the vertices of the rectangle ABCD. We are going to plot them on the graph sheet and join them to get the rectangle. So let's do that. We have our graph sheet here with our X and Y axis nicely numbered. The four points we are going to plot are A with coordinates 2, 8, B with coordinates 2, 4, C with coordinates 8, 4, and D with coordinates 8, 8. So let's start with A. A has the coordinates 2, 8. So we have 2 on the x axis, 8 on the y axis. They meet at this point. B has the coordinates 2, 4. We have 2 on the x axis, 4 on the y axis. They meet at this point. C has the coordinates 8, 4. We have 8 on the x axis, 4 on the y axis. They meet at this point. And D has the coordinates 8, 8. So 8 on the x axis and 8 on the y axis, they meet at this point. We now join these four points to get the rectangle A, B, C, D. So we join this point to this one, we join this to this, we join this to this, and then we join this to this. The question says that we should indicate the vertices clearly. So we have to write the vertices against the points that we have plotted. This is point A and the coordinates is 2, 8. This is point B, the coordinates is 2, 4. This is point C, the coordinates is 8, 4. And this is point D, the coordinates is 8, 8. Okay, so we have now solved the first, the first part, that is A, and we have solved B, I. In the next video, we are going to continue with B, I, I. So see you in the next video, and let's continue with the solution. Bye-bye.